Are you looking for a Florida manufactured housing community that offers great beach access? Want to own your own land? Maybe you're not ready for 55 plus. Join us as we explore some great communities in St. Lucie County. Stay tuned. In this video, we will look at Florida retirement communities offering manufactured housing in both 55 plus and all ages parks located in St. Lucie County. These include land lease and resident owned communities as well as condominium and mobile home subdivisions. There is a great variety of opportunity to own your own Florida manufactured home at bargain prices. So be sure to stay with us to the end of the video to see all your options. Hello, I'm Russ Watson. I help folks choose a Florida manufactured housing solution that both meets their needs and fulfills their dreams. Let's dig in. St. Lucie County is located in the center of Florida's Treasure Coast. The name Treasure Coast refers to the Spanish treasure fleet lost in the 1715 hurricane. And yes, to this day, treasure from those wrecks is still found along this coast. Palm Beach International Airport is about 60 miles to the south. It is about 115 miles to the theme parks at Disney. St. Lucie County consists of the cities of Port St. Lucie and Fort Pierce that encompass the eastern half of the county. The western half is pretty much farming and cattle. In the Fort Pierce area, it is a very short ride to Indian River Hospital run by Cleveland Clinic. In downtown Fort Pierce, there is HCA Florida Longwood Hospital. In Port St. Lucie, there is the St. Lucie Medical Center. There is over 20 miles of beautiful beach available in St. Lucie County. Venues range from very large public beaches with full facilities to small beach access points with parking for a few cars. I found 23 public parks and access points along this stretch of beach. The Spanish Lakes communities are the big dog in this county. There are five communities with three in Port St. Lucie and two up in Fort Pierce. These are resort communities designed for non-stop activities with a large variety of amenities. Golf, tennis, shuffleboard, bocce, pickleball, you name it, and you can probably find it in one or all of these communities. Each community has its own character and unique features. There are dozens of clubs overseeing activities and events. Entering the community, the first thing you notice is the beautiful landscaping and water features. This is common to all of the Spanish Lakes communities. There is a wide variety of homes available in these communities. There are small single wides which may appeal to snowbirds spending only a few months, or larger double wides, both older and newer construction, which add to the mix. One of our most popular videos, under 30K, was shot in Spanish Lakes communities. There are bargains to be found here. One thing you will notice as you drive around is that not all the houses are manufactured homes. The folks at Spanish Lakes have built a large number of homes in their communities using concrete block construction. This adds yet another option and new homes are being built all the time. These homes come with very long-term leases assuring that these parks will never be sold for a different land use. There is financing available making this another possibility for those looking to invest relatively low capital up front. We could devote an entire video to these parks and perhaps they will invite me to do so. Lot rents in these communities are surprisingly low for a resort community offering so many features. For now, let's head out and visit some of the other parks in St. Lucie County. Golden Ponds is a land lease community in Fort Pierce 
most noted for its Christmas drive through You can see more of this community in my Christmas video. Sand Hill Shores is another land lease 55 plus community with about 370 lots. It features a large clubhouse and entertainment complex. The clubhouse encloses the pool deck on two sides and there is a very large shuffleboard facility. It has billiards, a fitness center, and barbecue area. There is also a practice putting green. This community offers homes for sale and homes for rent. They also offer rental pads to RV customers. The owners of Sand Hill Shores are expanding the park onto an adjacent property that has set idle for many years. This will bring a lot of new affordable housing to Fort Pierce and also includes remodeling work on the existing clubhouse and pool. Tall Pines is a somewhat smaller 55 plus community with about 250 lots. There is a variety of homes in here, older and newer, double wide and single wide. It looks like they're bringing in quite a few new homes too. The clubhouse features a full kitchen, stage, and dance floor. The pool deck is spacious and inviting. Shuffleboard and patank are popular here, too. Tanglewood is an all-ages community located in the south end of Fort Pierce. It is family-owned and operated with a little over 150 lots and prides itself on being a family-friendly community. There are three lot sizes with both single and double wide homes found in the park. The park looks clean and the homes well maintained. There are plenty of palm trees and other varieties offering both shade and that tropical look. They also offer new homes in several models for installation on available lots. Country Cove is located on the north side of Fort Pierce and is also an all-ages community. There are a few older homes in this community, but most are newer, single-wide models. The park is clean, and homes have plenty of room for off-street parking. Many homes are nicely landscaped, and they all look in great condition. There is a very nice-looking community pool with sunbathing deck and cabana. I'm sure this is a real treat on a hot summer day. The first of our co-op communities is one of my favorites, Tropical Isles. This community is located in Fort Pierce. It is a 55 plus with a little over 330 lots. It features a large clubhouse with kitchen for banquets and a large auditorium for shows and entertainment. Homes including a share as well as homes on rental lots are available here although the community is so popular they sell quite quickly. Many of the homes are located in cul-de-sacs making for a more private setting. Renting or owning the share, either way Tropical Isles is a great choice. If living within walking distance of the beach fits your dream, Ocean Resorts may be for you. This is a cooperative community of close to 400 homes located north of Fort Pierce Inlet State Park. The community is a mix of concrete block structures, park models, mobile homes, and empty pads for RVs. There are many rentals available here with a minimum period of 30 days. There are tennis courts, a private beach, and a huge swimming pool. It is an all-ages community. Nettles Island is a condominium community on the south end of Hutchinson Island. The community lies in the intercoastal waterway with beach access across the street from the entrance. In this type of community, you own the home and the lot that it sits on, as well as an interest in the common property maintained by the condo association. The amenities here are quite elaborate with both a clubhouse complex and an oceanfront pool. Whispering Creek Co-op, located in Fort Pierce, is a 55-plus resident-owned park with an active adult community. They have a clubhouse, swimming pool, gym, and offer bocce and shuffleboard. 
According to their website, the co-op was founded in 2001 by a group of residents who wanted to control their destiny and had the goal of keeping it affordable and enjoyable. There are lots here for sale upon which you can put a brand new mobile home. The co-op suggests several manufactured home builders on their website. You will also find older manufactured and mobile homes for sale, and they sometimes list homes for rent. This is a very affordable community. Definitely worth a look if you are a senior on limited income. It has great reviews and looks like a place where you can make a lot of friends. La Bona Vida is a resident-owned co-op located in Port St. Lucie. It's a fairly small community at 189 units. HOA fees are remarkably low and it has a beautiful clubhouse and pool deck complex. Definitely worth looking into if you are interested in owning a share of the community and living in the Port St. Lucie area. There are very few mobile home subdivisions in this county. Lakewood Park is such a place with both conventional homes and a mobile home community known as Bel Air Estates. This is a very old community dating back to the 60s. There are older and newer mobile and manufactured homes here. There is a property owners association that oversees the 125 plus acres of lakes and land in the community as well as a village hall. Membership is voluntary. There are quite a few parks in St. Lucie County, too many to cover them all in one video. If you would like statewide lists of communities and co-ops, just go to the website and join our inner circle. It's free. If you need a guide to choosing communities, take a look at my book. Links for both are in the description below. That's it for this video. If you would like to see more videos touring around Florida manufactured home communities, just click on the link. Please give us a thumbs up if you found this video helpful. It really helps the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.